Thank you for being a friend. Travel down the road and back again. Your heart is true. You're a bell and a confidant. I'm not ashamed to say. I hope it always will stay this way. My head is off. Won't you stand up and take a bow? Yeah. And if you threw a party and invited everyone you knew, you would see the biggest gift would be from me. And the card attached would say, Thank you for being a friend. Ooh. Wow. Powerful lyrics, powerful lyrics. Powerful lyrics, powerful lyrics. Extremely. Extremely. I think it was uh, Andrew Gold, somebody who wrote that song. Anyway, y'all already know. On yesterday. My favorite airhead. <laughs> My favorite. Miss Betty White. Not Betty Wright. Um, she she went on last year to be with the ancestors, I think. Um, but this is Betty White, who's 99 years old. And um, kind of reminds me of just, I've been through so many decades with her. Um, not just from the Golden Girls, from her being married to Art Linkletter. Um, a lot of y'all don't even know who Art Linkletter is. If you do, give me a shout out. Say you remember. The Art Linkletter show, that was her husband until he passed away. Um, I would say for 50 years, I've known and grew up with Betty White. And I didn't know it would touch my heart like this until I actually had to say Betty White passed away. It actually put a lump in my throat. Um, she's lived her life, you know. But it just was kind of unsettling. Um, it would just be fitting. She wouldn't go into the next year. And that's what I was concerned with with my mother. Um. And God has allowed her to continue to be here. And I'm so grateful and thankful. <sighs> um, most days, she doesn't know if she's on, you know, foot or horseback. But she's still here. And I thank God for that. Um, I also um, realized that when people have lived a, 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 a long life. Um, that's God that gives them longevity. That's got nothing to do with you. So this article right here was kind of sad. At the same time, I had to I had to find the humor in it, and I hope nobody gets offended because it's, it's, these people on social media are just nuts. They said, thanks for killing Betty White. Oh my God! Social media blames People Magazine for jinxing the beloved Golden Girl star by running a cover story in her honor on her um on her uh, <laughs> weeks before to honor her weeks before her hundredth birthday. That is so insane that you know I can't even say the People Magazine cover story that Tyler Television legend Betty White. Being so lucky to be in such good health ahead of her 100th birthday has been blamed for having jinxed the celebrated comedic actress who passed away Friday, 17 days before her centennial. Her 
the cover story, which ran December 28th on the magazine's website in the print with the headline, Betty White Turns 100, published just three days before White's death. In the story, White shares what she feels has kept her going for so long with her trademark sharp sense of humor. She said of her diet, I try to avoid anything green. I think it's working. <laughs> On a more serious note, like said, I'm so lucky to be in good health. I feel so good at this age. It's amazing. She's taking care of herself. Um, like my mom. My, my, my mom has lost considerable weight, a lot of weight when we went to the doctor. You know, because we'd be giving her a little bit more water because of her, um, you know, being dehydrated. And, um, they, you know, her doctor was saying, well, no, you can, don't, you know, don't give her, you know, we just, you have to manage it, but we'll still want to put the weight, a little bit more weight back on her. So we've been giving her, um, and she eats, she's just gotten smaller. So, um, I'm, it hurt diet. So now I've added, um, and my daughters and the other caregivers, we've added avocado and other things to her. And she seems to um, like it a lot. Um, so we've added other uh, greenery. And I can see with Betty White, um, because she was so active, I think that helped a lot in um, keeping her mind sharp. So uh, she, uh, she was born a cockeyed optimist. I got it from my mom, and that never changed. I always find the positive. One writer wrote, you got to admit, having an entire magazine devoted to you on your 100th birthday, hit the racks, and then dying before that birthday is an excellent, excellent comedic timing. <laughs> Girl, no, you didn't. She did it. Didn't she do it? Before she died, and I think it's seven days, 10 days before her birthday, and then they, they do a, a, a book. A magazine cover celebrating her 100th birthday. Oh, my God. She said, my 100th birthday. I cannot believe it's coming. And People Magazine is celebrating this with me. My goodness. She was not battling any particular ailments and did not have a sudden illness, a source said to the Star Police. We're seeing at White's home on Friday, but stressed that they were only investigating her death as a matter of procedure and that no foul play was suspected. A black coroner's van was also leave, seen leaving as the afternoon wore off. You know, my mom always said she wanted to wear out. And I think that's what Betty White did. And um, as Sister Betty makes her transition um, into the other realm, uh, she's brought us all a, a lot of uh, comic relief. She's brought us all a lot of happiness. And if anybody um, has ever seen her work, I loved her on the Mary Tyler Moore show so much. <laughs> she was just, she was in that case. Uh, Mary Tyler Moore, she was just too much. Sue Ann Nivens. Oh my God. But I can say this. She's brought so much laughter and joy to us that um, may she rest in peace. Okay, you guys. I'll see you in the next video.